So um, one of the things we did as a church to do evangelism is, again, this is this part of what I'm going to say is not about personal evangelism so much as um, uh, as a church we were wanting to do evangelism. So we recognized that there was a real need for recovery ministry um, in, in the area of town we were in. There was nothing else like that. And so we started something called Celebrate Recovery, which we didn't start that. It's a program that, you know, worldwide. But we were started that in our church. Well, this um, this guy came to the ch church, and he was he was um, been in prison for many years, and he came to the Celebrate Recovery, and he was... I, one of those one percent bikers, which I learned was you know the real gang gang bikers, um, and intimidating guy and the whole thing. Well, he he shows up and he's just coming to coming around. He said he was coming for food for the free food. He wasn't really interested. And there was an attractive woman that was at our church that he was interested in hooking up with, for lack of a better term. But he he was just showing up for those reasons only. Um, but he was there at one one thing. We were just going around sharing, and, and I asked the question. I said, well. What is something in this upcoming year? I think it was around New Year's that you would you would like to see change in your life. And we're going around, and it gets to his turn, and he says, he the word compassion came out of his mouth. And later he told me the story. He's like, I've never ever even thought about compassion. That's the furthest thing that I want. There's nothing about me that's compassionate. And, and so, but he's like, where did that come from? And it kind of freaked him out and scared him. So he so he he I didn't know any of this at the time, but he he went outside of the parking lot and he comes back into the church. Um, and I'm, I was kind of walking this way. He, he walks up to me, and he comes up to me, again, real intense, and he says, he says, what's that prayer someone prays to accept Jesus as their Savior? And, um, and I said, well, are you, are you asking for you, or are you just, just asking? He says, I'm asking for me. I said, okay. So I, I kind of quickly explained the gospel to him. I said, you know, God loves you, wants a relationship with you, and um, he sent his son to die on the cross so that you can have forgiveness of your sins. And, and so, uh, and you believe in that. So when you pray the prayer, you're basically saying, Lord, I believe, uh, I admit that I'm a sinner. I believe that uh, Jesus died for my sin and rose again. And that uh, I ask for forgiveness and that I want um, to follow him as Lord. And so said so it's not magic words or anything, but you basically pray something along that way, lines and you mean it in your heart. And that's what you pray. And he says, okay, great. And he started to walk away. I said, wait, 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 wait. I said, I said, I said, would you, we, would you like to pray that now? Or I mean, what, what would you, you know, I just want to, where, where are you at with that? And he says, no, I just, I just prayed it. I was like, oh, you just did? And, I, and in my head, I'm thinking, can it work that way? I don't know. I mean, I don't know if you're allowed to just pray in your head without sort of repeating after me. I didn't, and so I was, I didn't know what, but he said, so I just did. And he walked out. Well, so I thought, great, I guess. But, um, and then I didn't see him for a week and didn't know what happened. And a week later, I saw him. He comes in, comes to me, and he says, "What did you do to me?" I'm like, "What do you mean? What did I do to you?" He says, "He says, I, I'm all messed up." He goes, "I went home that day, and I went uh, to get on my computer and start looking at pornography like I always do, and I couldn't do it." He said, "I I couldn't look at it. I felt all guilty." And I said, I said "Well, you have a conscience now," and he said, "Oh, it's horrible." And um. And I said, I said, well, that's the Holy Spirit. And he didn't really know what I was saying. I was like, I said, well, have you ever heard of, of uh, being born again? And he goes, oh, yeah. Like, that's the worst thing that could possibly happen to someone. He's like, yeah, that's a terrible thing. I said, well, buddy, you're it. You're, you, you're born again. The Holy Spirit's in you, and you're a Christian. And he, oh, man. And so he just didn't know what had happened. But God had come into his heart and was beginning to transform him just by just as I described the prayer, he, he prayed it in his heart. And, you know, again, he went on to get involved and transform too. So it's just a fun story.